In the ancient city of Nineveh, wickedness was rampant. The people had wandered far from the path of righteousness, indulging in acts of violence and corruption. It was here that Jonah, a reluctant prophet, found himself tasked with a formidable mission from God, to warn the Ninevites of their impending destruction and urge them to repent. However Jonah, overcome with fear and uncertainty, chose to flee from his divine responsibility. He boarded a ship bound for Tarshish, attempting to evade the all-seeing eye of God. As the ship sailed, the skies darkened, and the winds began to roar. A fierce storm arose on the sea, tossing the ship around like a fragile leaf in the wind. The sailors, though experienced and courageous, were terrified. They cried out to their gods and threw cargo overboard to lighten the ship, but the storm only intensified. The sailors, sensing a divine reason for their troubles, cast lots to find the source of their misfortune, and the lot fell on Jonah. Under pressure from the crew, Jonah admitted his identity and his attempt to escape from God. The sailors, understanding the gravity of the situation, asked Jonah what they should do to calm the sea. With a heavy heart, Jonah responded, Pick me up and throw me into the sea, and it will become calm. I know that this great storm has come upon you because of me. Hesitantly, the sailors followed Jonah's instructions. As soon as Jonah hit the water, the sea became calm, and the storm ceased. The sailors were awestruck, offering sacrifices and vows to the Lord in gratitude. Jonah's trial, however, was far from over. As he sank into the depths of the sea, a great fish, sent by God, swallowed him whole. Inside the belly of the creature, Jonah found himself in complete darkness, surrounded by the unsettling sounds of the beast's digestive system and the sharp taste of seawater. It was like a living tomb, a place of isolation and deep reflection. For three days and three nights, Jonah remained in the belly of the fish, consumed by fear and regret. He prayed earnestly to God, admitting his disobedience and begging for deliverance. In my distress, I called to the Lord, and he answered me. From the depths of the grave, I cried for help, and you heard my voice. God, hearing Jonah's sincere repentance, commanded the fish to release him. With a powerful surge, the fish spat Jonah onto dry land. Disheveled and worn, Jonah lay on the shore, grateful for a second chance. This time, he obeyed God's command without hesitation. He traveled to Nineveh and delivered the message of repentance with renewed conviction. The people of Nineveh, moved by Jonah's words, turned from their wicked ways and sought forgiveness. God, in his infinite mercy, spared the city from destruction. Jonah's story is an enduring reminder of the power of repentance and the limitless grace of God. From the depths of the sea to the gates of Nineveh, Jonah's journey stands as a testament to the profound truth that no matter how far one may stray, it is never too late to return to the path of righteousness.